Good morning and welcome to Fresh, the show all about food, entertaining, design, and wellness. I'm Courtney Wallen and on today's show we'll hit on all those topics, but right now we're at the American Countryside Farmer's Market with Bill and Dustin Maddern of Maddern's Meats here and we are going to be preparing a beautiful prime rib here, aren't we? We sure are. We're going to start out with, it's about a seven pound roast. They come a little larger than that, but we can make them any size. Uh, this one happens to be a boneless one. It'll cook a little quicker. We also make one that does have the bone on it if you like the old traditional uh, bone-in style prime rib cut. Uh, pretty simple to do. We'll show you how. Uh, I like to just uh, use a little olive oil with garlic in it, salt and pepper, and we've got some veggies cut that we'll line the pan with. I don't put it on a rack. We just set it right on top of the veggies and use that for the rack. Fantastic. Looks beautiful. Lots of good things that you guys also offer. It's December. It's time for this good meat, right? You bet. And Dustin can tell you a little bit more of the products that we feature at Christmas time. Uh, it's never too early to, to order ahead because we do run out of some things. So uh, if you had them last year, we know they'll be waiting in line this year. So make sure you give us a try. And we'll start getting this ready, and Dustin can fill you in on some of the others. All right. He's preparing that. Now, Dustin, your turn. Go ahead. Tell us what you guys have. Okay. Uh, just for this Christmas holiday season, we're going to offer, like Dad said, our prime rib, a boneless one, a bone-in one. We also will make a pork crown roast. That's the real fancy. We tie it up. It has the bones sticking up, all the stuffing inside. Um, and we're also going to offer uh, beef tenderloin roast. And so those are the meats that we'll be having. And, uh, and then also, I don't want to forget, our specialty Mattern smoked ham. So we uh, cure those, our smoke and cure those ourselves. Um, some of the other products we have here today, um, we offer a full line of spices and rubs. We have approximately about 100 different spices, rubs, and seasonings in our pantry downstairs. Um, another line of product that we also like to highlight when we get a chance are all these jams and jellies. The, it's called Two Cooking Sisters. They're from Brookston, Indiana. Um, and it's literally two cooking sisters in this little kitchen in Brookston, Indiana. They're back there stirring the big pot full of jams and jellies. Um, one that's going to be a real specialty uh, for the holiday season is called Moots Creek uh, Cranberry and Orange Sauce. Um, it goes great with roasted pork and uh, you just baste it on there and rub it on there and then let it roast and bake. So, yeah, it's a great flavor. Another one that's uh, a really good one uh, is the I Love You Jam, and uh, that has dark chocolate and raspberries in it. So if you know of anybody that needs any stocking stuffers, these are great because they're all naturally made. They're all um, preserves, and uh, they're just a wonderful taste. Good stuff. And we featured the pumpkin spread last time we were here for Thanksgiving, and you said for Christmas they have a pecan spread? Yes, when uh, pecans are in season and we can get a good batch of pecans, um, they like to add the pecans into that. Um, so it, it's really, really good. Yeah. Um, a couple other items that we have, um, there's some relishes, onion relish, a sweet relish, and a corn relish, um, which adds a twist to the, di the different dishes and it's very easy because it's already done you just add it in um, for tacos or um, for like a salad dip or something like that um, we also have pasta um, down there from Italy and we have a great line of products from a couple of guys um, out of Chicago which is another small little independent company that make an awesome gourmet uh, product um, as far as pasta sauces go. And I, lo I love these companies names a couple of guys, literally a couple of guys, that's the name of the company, and two cooking sisters. Doesn't get more local than that. I know, and if you want to go one step further, you got two guys here with a butcher shop. So <laughs> Called Mattern's Meat. Yeah, there you go. Well, it looks like this is done here, Bill. Better seasoned up and ready to go. The only other thing that you want to make sure that you've got is a good meat thermometer. And all you have to do is look on it to get the doneness. Now remember, when you take this out, it's going to continue to cook. Uh, for a little while after you take it out. You're going to want to let it stand for about 10 minutes or so after you take it out of the oven and it will continue to, to rise in temperature a little bit. Uh, for medium you want to get it about 160 degrees in the middle then your ends will be a little bit more done for those that like theirs a little bit more well done. And we've got one in the oven ready to pull out and one to stick in. Alright well let's get it out. Get out here. I'm going to walk over here with you guys. Ooh, yummy. I should probably get out of the way here. Delicious. 
Oh, that smells wonderful. Looks like it's just like we like it. Mm. Get these veggies off the top here. And we'll do a little end cut here to see. Let me use my bigger knife here. I probably sound like a broken record, but we really need smell-o-vision. That needs to be... Um, uh, to oh, okay, I will we'll do that. Go ahead and do, put this on the board here. So we get a good look at it. Well, we should... This is one massive cutting board. <laughs> Heavy duty. Now our end cut's going to be pretty well done. And if we go to the middle here... Perfect. We have one that's to my liking. Yeah, I would say so. I think to a lot of people's liking. <laughs> nice center cuts here and put on the plate. Now we made that. Using some good drippings in the pan, you can use for a good aw juice. I bet. Oh my goodness. And there you go. That's good stuff right there. Right, I'm going for that. Christmas. There you go. Now we did a turkey last time. Are you guys still going to be offering those for the Christmas season? Uh, yeah, you just need to get your order in in plenty of time. Uh, same way with the prime ribs. They're a little bit more readily available than the natural turkeys. But uh, get your orders in early. And uh, prime rib at home, it can't be much easier than what we just did. This only was in the oven for about two hours at a seven-pound roast. So if you do a whole family one, 14-pounder, a couple hours, you're still going to be ready to go. Fabulous. Well, it looks fantastic. Make sure you get the, to Mattern's Meat Market and get this for the holiday seasons. Dustin, go ahead and tell them where you can find this. Uh, you can find us over at the uh, Elkhart, over here in Elkhart at the Midwest Farmer's Market, just uh, south of the bypass, uh, exit State Road 19 off of County Road 26, and we're here 8 to 4, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And uh, come on in and order your Christmas dinner. We'll take care of you. Yes, you will. And great meat here and also a huge pantry full of jams, spices, rubs, all the good stuff that you'll need for this fantastic meat. Well, thanks, guys, again. We'll be back after a short break, so stay tuned.